going on everyone? Cincy Nerd here and I am bringing you a unboxing of a new Hot Toys figure that I received in the mail today. Freaking excited. Haven't gotten a Hot Toys figure in a little while so I'm excited to unbox this thing. This figure comes with a little bit of controversy and criticism. Some people don't like it. I'll talk about the reasons they don't like it. And I'll tell you why I kind of disagree with them. But uh, I am here to unbox, if you didn't see the title of this video, the Hot Toy Suicide Squad Arkham Asylum Joker figure. I'm representing. This is my Joker shirt. Got all four of the Jokers there. I've even got the freaking Funko hat on. The Funko Joker hat, which I said I was never going to wear but I'm wearing for this special occasion, this unboxing. So why beat around the bush? Why freaking wait? What's in the damn box? You're about to find out. Snicked. That was terrible. Snicked. By the way, speaking of snicked, watch the new Logan trailer today and holy freaking crap. You know what happened after I watched that Logan trailer? I went down into my uh, Blu-ray movie collection and I got all these out <laughs> because that trailer was freaking incredible and it made me want to watch all of the Hugh Jackman movies where he starred as Wolverine because I'm sad. I am very sad that this could possibly be the very last movie where Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine. He has literally played Wolverine. He's played that same character for 17 years. There are some of you that are watching this video right now that were not even alive the first time Hugh Jackman played Wolverine. So this is a big event to me. Um, the trailer looks freaking incredible. Awesome. Awesome. But anyway, not to get too far off subject, I just wanted to, uh, the snicked brought me back to uh, that trailer that I watched. I watched it like three times in a row and they freaking dropped it. But we're here for this mamma jamma. Suicide Squad Joker, again, T-Man978 is probably sitting there saying, open the damn box, and I'm about to do that. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. I received it in the mail today, and the uh, postal carrier said, got another expensive toy, I see. And I said, yes, I do. Whoa, this is a big-ass box. This is a cool box, damn. All right, so... This is a, a very cool box, which I will show you as soon as I get it out of the plastic bag here. So as you can see, this is the box. Very, very cool box art. But this is a Sideshow exclusive. I believe this on their website is labeled as the 2016 Toy Fair exclusive. So uh, it is currently available as of earlier today, this afternoon. I saw that it was live. You could buy it right now. It's not a pre-order. You can buy it now and it'll ship within a couple days. Uh, but very, very cool box. It's a thick box. It's very well made. It's not like a thin cardboard. It's thick. But let me, how the frick do you take this thing out? Okay, there we go. Whoa, what the shiz? Is it magnetized? Ah, okay. Is there something crawling on me? The hell? All right, so as you can see here, this is magnetized. Look at that. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, so it is magnetized, and the outside box turns into kind of like the inside display of his um, Arkham Asylum cell, which is pretty cool. So it's not some flimsy little cardboard piece that uh, turns into this cell backdrop. This is thick. As you can see here, this is a thick cardboard, very well made backdrop. So that's pretty cool. I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually display it with this. I might just keep that on the box itself, but I like the way they did that. Here's the inside box art. Very, very cool. I really liked Jared Leto as the Joker. He was different than the other Jokers. I personally think he was the creepiest out of all the Jokers that have been. I didn't think Nicholson was creepy at all. Ledger was just kind of demented. Jared Leto, anytime he was on the screen, he just kind of like, you kind of felt a little like uneasy watching him. Like you didn't know what he was going to do. 
All right, so here he is. He is packaged with no hands on, and I'll explain why in a second. But uh, I already watched a uh, review online, so I know that that is the case. He is packaged with his Arkham Asylum straight jacket on. But let me go ahead and take him out. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like out of package. This right here is um, a cardboard little base so that you can put it inside the wraparound for the cell. So it kind of completes like a little diorama thing. He does not come with a lot of accessories. I'm gonna put the box down here to get that out of the way. Uh, he comes with uh, a very large base, which I will take out in a second. Let me show you the figure first. So. Here again is the figure in the package. I'm probably not gonna take these cards out, but I will show you what they look like. Let me put them back in there. This is like a, this is like a, what the hell? <laughs> this is like a playing card and it's uh, double-sided. It's like uh, two cards kind of taped together. It's the Joker and Harley. Uh, I'm, I don't really have any way to uh, display it, so I'll probably just leave it in there in the package. Uh, but as you can see, all the uh, accessories that it comes with did fall out. He comes with this chair, which uh, is scene specific. This whole figure is scene specific. And I'll explain why I think Hot Toys did it the way they did. And it makes sense to me. Uh, here are his hands, which again, he does not come packaged with hands on because he's got his straight jacket on and it just kind of looks better without the hands there. Let me show you. So let me take him out of package. Oh, look at this. Man, this is awesome looking. And as you can see, he comes with a straight jacket on. I'm not gonna take him out of the straight jacket because this is how I'm going to pose him. I'm going to pose him with the straight jacket on. If anything, I might untie like the sleeve so he could just be there like with his arms open, hands showing maybe. But I really like the way this looks with his uh, straight jacket on. Let me fix the camera here so you can get a good shot of his face sculpt. So there is his face sculpt. Not the best lighting here, so you can't really get a good shot. What I'll do after this review is I will show you some uh, shots of just him so you can see what he looks like. But... Uh, here are his uh, Arkham pants. And uh, one of the cool things about this is if you look at his feet and ankles, no joints, no visible joints. And I'll explain why and how they did that as well. First impressions, he looks freaking awesome. That's an awesome, awesome face sculpt. He's got his tattoos on his face. He does have a visible tattoo on his neck. The biggest criticism by people that purchase this figure is that he does not have his body tattoos on his uh, chest and arms and whatnot. Um, the only tattoos that he has, he does not have the hand tattoos, because obviously in the movie he had tattoos on his hand. Uh, the only tattoos that he has are the ones on his face, which are all screen accurate, and then that one on his neck. And the reason why I think they did not include the tattoos on his body uh, are because that this figure is very, very scene specific. Um, if you, obviously if you watch the Suicide Squad movie, you'll know that pretty much any time Jared Leto as the Joker was on screen, he was on screen for a very, very brief amount of time and he pretty much had a different look in each scene. He had a different outfit. So he started with this in this scene when he's talking to Dr. Harleen Quinzel, kind of messing with her head. Uh, he was in a straight jacket and sitting in a chair in Arkham Asylum. You see him uh, with a purple jacket on. Uh, I think that's referred to as like the boxer joker, but uh, different outfit there. You see him again, and he had a uh, silver or gold jacket when they're in the nightclub, and he shoots Common. And then uh, you see him again, and he's in that helicopter. By the way, spoiler alert if you haven't seen this freaking movie yet, but uh, I'm telling you all the scenes that the Joker's in. Another scene that I really, really like, and I, I'm probably going to buy a second Joker Hot Toys figure of, is in his tuxedo. When he's in that... Uh, helicopter and he's got the uh, gold AK-47. I just love that look in the tuxedo. 
I think that's a cool look. He's in that movie kind of so sporadically and so briefly, and he has a different outfit on in each scene that, I mean, Hot Toys isn't dumb. They're going to capitalize on the fact that the Joker's a very, very popular character, so they're going to release a different Joker figure for each look that he had in the movie. They're not going to release one deluxe figure that you can just change the outfits on and he can have like a tux, he can have the purple jacket, he can have the straight jacket. They're going to make the money and they're going to release figures for each look. And I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, if you look at like the uh, Batman figures from Batman versus Superman, I mean there's really no way that you can do one deluxe figure and have all the different looks he had. And so they did three different figures for three different looks that he had in the movie. I don't really have a big problem with the fact that he doesn't have, you know, all of his tattoos. It would have been nice if he had all of his tattoos so that you could pose him without the straight jacket because he does have that look where he's going to shock Dr. Harley or Harley Quinn with those uh, things in the head and he's shirtless and he's got the tattoos. So it would have been cool if they had all the tattoos, but again, they're trying to go for a scene-specific figure, and in this specific scene, he had a straight jacket on and had the chair. Uh, I really like it. I'm gonna pose it like this. Uh, he could be standing up, he could be sitting in the chair, but he will have the straight jacket on. Let me explain the feet, by the way. I showed you that he doesn't have any visible ankle joints, even though he does have articulation in his ankle which is pretty cool. And the reason for that is because he has, they made basically like a really, really um, tight boot. It's like a, a plastic boot that goes over his actual Hot Toys frame, as you can see there. And it's uh, made to look like a bare foot, which I think is really, really freaking cool. I think that's awesome that they did that. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen that, where someone was barefoot, but they didn't have any ankle joints. So I think that's a really, really cool touch. I like that a lot. They've got the uh, grill. It's hard to see here. Hopefully in the, uh, the end video when I show you up close shots, you could see it better. But um, he's got the grill. He's got the slick back green hair. He just looks fantastic. Obviously there's a lot of controversy with this figure. I do believe that it might be slightly overpriced. Had he come with either more accessories, but again, you have to ask yourself this, what accessories is he gonna come with? Because if they're going for scene specific, he was literally just sitting there talking to Harley in that scene. Technically, you could maybe have those little shocker things that he used on her, but that's a different scene. They could have maximized the value and probably made collectors a little bit more happy if A, they did the full tattoos on the body and hands, or B, they gave him an additional accessory, maybe the little shocker things, and a couple more fists. It doesn't really bother me. I just like the figure itself. I think it's a fantastic, excellent head sculpt. It looks just like Jared Leto. I really don't want to undo his hands and show you what he looks like under. He's wearing a dark shirt. It's basically like a, a dark like black or navy blue shirt under that. Let me go ahead and get the base out and show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the base. Very, very simple looking. It looks kind of like a tiled floor, but uh, as you can see, it does have a little metal plate there, which has, has a Suicide Squad, Joker, ha ha ha, and then those playing cards there. But uh, it has a single hole there for a metal pole and the little, as they call them, crotch grabbers. Uh, so, I'm probably going to have him positioned. I like to change my poses up in my cabinet. I'm probably gonna have him standing with the chair in front of him because the pole's at the back of this base. So he's gonna be standing towards the back of the base, which you need a chair in front of it to kind of balance it out. But um, just wanted to share how, how I initially planned to pose this thing. Uh, I will show you that uh, again at the end of the video when I show you the uh, up close pictures, but there's not a whole lot to uh, kind of review with this piece unless you want to undo the straight jacket, which I don't plan to do. So the other thing that he comes with besides these two hands without the tattoos is these two uh, wrist pegs. The wrist pegs are in there. I could feel the wrist pegs in there, so those are just extra wrist pegs. But again, let me just give you one more shot of the Joker. 
He does have, uh, there's plastic on his knees, which I'm gonna take off, just because I can't stand the sound of that plastic crinkling every time I bend his knees. But uh, yeah, this is the first Suicide Squad Hot Toys figure to be released. Overall thoughts. Let me turn him around so you can actually see him. Do I like this figure? I like it a lot. I love it. A welcome addition to my collection. I'm a huge fan of the Joker. I liked his portrayal of the Joker. It was different than any other Joker we've seen. I do think that the creepy factor, uh, I liked it a lot. Every time he was on screen, especially when he was talking to, I think his name was Griggs, the guy that was uh, the uh, prison guard at Bel Rev. When he, uh, when he was talking to him, it, it was just like super creepy. And uh, it just, it kind of made me smile and laugh that he was that creepy and out there. But I liked his portrayal a lot. It's a cool figure. I will say that I do believe it's overpriced. If it had all of the tattoos, that probably would have gone better in increasing the value or the perceived value of this figure. Uh, and again, if he had additional accessories, the chair is pretty cool, but it's just a chair. If he had additional accessories, or again, if he had the tattoos, I think the tattoos, if this thing had the tattoos all over his body, people would have freaking loved this thing. The reception has kind of been, I guess, lukewarm at best. But I like it, and that's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Take it for what it's worth. If you like the way this thing looks, go for it. If it's still available, uh, I do believe that it's pretty limited in nature because it is an exclusive. It's a Toy Fair exclusive. Those tend to be slightly more limited production-wise than a regular Hot Toys figure. Plus, they're, this is the first to market on the Joker figures, and this is the first one. So they're going to release the Boxer Joker. They're going to release the, uh, the suit, the tuxedo. I am probably going to purchase the tuxedo Joker. I really like the way that one looks. And I'm not sure which other Hot Toys figures I'm gonna buy from Suicide Squad. The Harley looks pretty good, the Deadshot looks decent, but I'm gonna be buying the SH Figure Arts for both Harley and Deadshot. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but we'll find out. But I do like this figure a lot. But uh, that's my review for this figure. I appreciate you joining me. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. As always, have fun collecting. But uh, if you just join me for this review of the Hot Toys figure, I'm going to be sharing a couple more things at the end of this video. So if you're not interested in seeing uh, other content that I have, you can uh, hop off now. But uh, if you are interested in seeing a couple other things that I want to share, stick around. I'll be back. Got the scene playing in the background, but here is some close-up shots. I get my lighting right of the Hot Toys Arkham Asylum Joker. So right now I have him um, standing on his stand and I've got the chair positioned that way. I believe in that scene though, he is sitting on the chair like that. So I guess you could have the chair positioned like that. I don't like the chair blocking his, uh, his pants though. So that's how I have it positioned. But again, very, very cool looking figure. Let me turn him around. Here's how he looks on the back. All right, so I put the uh, backdrop there to show you the cell or his uh, Arkham Asylum jail cell or room. As you can see, that's how it uh, looks, but pretty cool for a diorama. Alright, so this is the other way that I might have him posed in my cabinet. Sitting in the chair, and again, I think he's sitting in the chair backwards in the scene. I have to rewatch that, but... If you want something extremely scene specific, you can position them this way. And then here is how it looks with the backdrop up there. I think that looks pretty badass. And then just for shits and giggles, I have him positioned with the two uh, DC collectible statues that I have. Harley and Deadshot, just to show you also size comparison. Maybe I'll stand him up as well to show you um, how they look standing together, but 
That actually looks pretty cool right there. All right, and here is how he looks standing up next to those two statues. It's a pretty good size. Um, their bases are a little bit lower than his base. Plus, he's, he doesn't have shoes on, so he should technically be taller if he was to have shoes on. But I think that's a pretty good uh, size comparison there. But uh, that is the end of your close-up shots of my Hot Toys Arkham Asylum Joker figure. I'm going to share a couple more things before I end this video. But thanks for joining me if you happen to hop off now. If you stay, thanks for staying. All right, thanks for sticking around. I just wanted to share a couple more things that I happened to purchase uh, the other day. I went to, uh, where the hell did I get these? I think it was at Walmart. I found something on clearance there. I picked it up, it was like nine bucks, but I did pick up the Star Wars Ezra on speeder, is that speeder bike? Bridgers, Ezra Bridgers Speeder is what the official name is, but picked up the um, Ezra on speeder bike. Again, it was on clearance for $9. This is the item right here. But I'm a huge fan of Star Wars Rebels. I was a huge fan of Clone Wars. So pretty much anything that they release, uh, I will pick up. Uh, I kind of held off on this one because I think the original price was either 15 or 20. But uh, at $9, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, the Ezra that I have right now does not have the lightsaber. It was the one that comes with a little kind of stormtrooper helmet. Uh, so I was happy to pick this one up. And uh, that speeder bike, it looks kind of simple looks like a hunk of plastic but it's it's cool looking I like it so I picked that one up and then the other thing that I picked up is I did purchase the first season of Ash versus the Evil Dead as well and I watched like the first three episodes and I freaking love it it's horrifying gory and hilarious all at the same time if you were a fan of Evil Dead 2 if you were especially if you're a fan of Army of Darkness definitely definitely either watch this or buy this it's a good series, and I can't wait to watch the rest of the first season, but it's really awesome. I think that's it. That's all I wanted to share, just a couple extra things. But that's it for now. Thanks again for joining me. Approaching episode 100. I've got something special planned for that episode. But uh, as of right now, thanks for joining me. I'm going to freaking go to bed, edit this sucker tomorrow, and get it out for your viewing pleasure. But thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good night. And goodbye.